Okay, it's recording. Seven, eight, okay. Hey, Shalom, 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 Shalom. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakafadash. Our double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS, who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in these last days. Shalom also to the few awkward sisters who are sincerely seeking this truth. Um, it's the GMS Italy camp, and as usual, you know, we come, we come out, you know, week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this kingdom, okay, which is run by the so-called um, white man, the banking families. Who, um, whose um, biblical nationality is Esau Edom, you know? These are the wickeds that are in power right now. And, you know, they just finished celebrating their pagan, um, their pagan satanic ritual, which is the new year, the eve of destruction, you know? Which is dedicated actually to the Roman deity, the Roman idol, which is called um, Janus. Um, Janus, you know? And this is just to tell you how wicked and how ignorant how void of light, you know, the sons of Jacob are. And the sons of Jacob, as you can see, are the, are the true Hebrew Israelites, are the, are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos, you know, in which usually in each, um, in each society that you find them, they are right at the bottom, you know, they are the poor of the society. And what are they doing? They are actually paying for the sins that they've committed because this is a people that has been chosen by the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. This is a people that have had... Uh, a covenant with the Most High. This is a people that the Most High has set aside, which, which comes, that's where you get the word holy from. Holy means set aside. This is a people that's been set aside for a particular purpose of being the sons of the power of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. But they broke this pact, and the Most High got hungry with them, but for a short time, you know, and sent them into captivity, sent them into the hands of their enemies. So. As you can see right now, we're actually suffering, we're suffering, you know, our breach of that contract, you know. But the Most High actually is merciful because He has chosen us forever. We are going to be His sons and His daughters forever. The so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos. So He has made a way for us to come back, you know, to be part, to, to be part of this contract again. You know, we breached the contract, but the Most High made a way for us to come back again. You know, sending His only begotten Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Jehovah, and other names, but his true name is Yahweh Shai, you know? And how do we know that, you know? Uh, we know that through, um, through, the, through the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, who has given us back the names, you know? That's the book of, um, it says, I shall, I, shall, I shall return to them, you know, uh, 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 a, a holy language, and they shall call upon my name. That's what book is that? Zephaniah 3, Zephaniah 3 you know? So, you know, that prophecy is actually working right now, you know. The Most High has given us the holy language, which is the Lashawan Kadash. That's the Hebrew Israelite language that you hear. You hear us speaking right now, which is the language that was spoken in the land of Canaan. You know, the Most High has given us that language back now. He has given us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to understand and decipher his name, you know. And he, all this he has done through, um, through the, the apostles of great millstones and the teachers that were before them, you know. So all praises to the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem Dash. He has given us the, the possibility to come back to Him. But then, you see, why many people are waking up to the truth? Because, you know, there is a scripture that tells you that, you know, um, this truth is going to flood around like, like water, unstoppable water, you know. There is going to be knowledge, is going to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Knowledge is going to be scattered for lack of better words, you know. At, at the end times, you know, there is a lot of knowledge, you know, and Kalala Yahweh Hashem Shai for creating the internet, you know, that you can get that in the book of um, Psalm 9, um, 19, 4. You know, it tells you how the Most High has created the internet, you know, to push this gospel, this truth, and knowledge all around. So you have access to knowledge, you know. If you're actually seeking the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, there is no way you're going to seek the Most High on the internet without finding Him, you know. A lot of Hebrew Israelite camps out there, you know, the Most High has established many. Even if many are not teaching the 100% truth, and the only ones teaching the 100% truth is Great Millstone, because as time goes on, we get to see that more prophecies are unfolding. 
all the follies and wrong doctrines that these other Hebrew Israelite camps have been teaching, you know, the Most High keeps showing from time in and time out that the, the, the doctrine that stands the, the tempest of time is that of the Great Millstone. You know, Great Millstone is the first ones to start pushing the, the MOTB, which is the, the mark of the B, you know. They are the first people that will start pushing it, the correct one, the correct one, which is the microchip. You know, other, other, other camps were saying all different kinds of madness. You know, but as time keeps going, you know, they start saying that truly the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai is working with us because the spirit of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai is truth, you know. So if you have any scripture, if you have anything to add. Yeah, this is the book of 2 Corinthians chap chapter 10, verse 4. It says, Pick out. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. To the pulling down of strongholds, verse 5, casting down the imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and bringing, bringing into captivity every thought of the obedience of Yahweh Shai. Can. So the weapons of our warfare is not carnal. You know, then what he said, bringing every thought that exalted itself, get the book of um, Daniel chapter 7, Baba Kasha, because, you know, people get it wrong. They think that they can escape, you know, the things that are to come, the judgments that are to come. We're going to read from, you know, the whole vision. Just, just read the whole vision, you know. We're going to go through down this, this, kin this kingdom because um, the reason why we're going to get the book of Daniel is to tell you that, you know, um, those who exalt themselves that put themselves as God as regarding also to the second book of Thessalonians chapter 2 you know they are being revealed and it's it's a race of people they are the people actually in power right now you understand so we're going to break that down you know so these people are actually instead of them to be looking for the truth and, and trying to be concerned with the most high Yahweh Shem Shai, you know the sons of Israel are actually drunk by the wine which are the wicked philosophies that are brought up brought out by the so-called people that are ruling today you know so you can read from the first chapter this you know, is seven. sorry so what I, I lost my train of thoughts um, about um, Shalakia anyway you know this um, this warfare is not by our weapon it's not by how much money you've gathered in your bank account it's not about your your social status it's not about how important you feel you are or whatever you know it's not about how you've saved and all that thing you know salvation comes through the washing of the word which is this truth, you know? And this truth is Yahweh Shai, you know? And, 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 you know, you need to understand this truth, call on the true names of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, and forsake all these wicked ways that you've been following right from childhood, because we were all born into sin, you know? We were all born into sin. Our parents never knew better, you know? They didn't know better. They followed the ways of, the, of their parents, who, who all, they all went away. They all went away from the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They did everything except that of, you know, seeking the real truth and following the ways of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So you can read. This is Daniel chapter 7, verse 1. In the first year of Belshazzar, Belshazzar. The, the king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and vision of his head upon his bed. Then he wrote, he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matters. Verse 2. Daniel spake. And said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of the heaven strove upon the great sea. Verse 3. And four great beasts. Well, and that four winds upon the heaven, you know. That four winds upon the the heaven, you know, it represents the people, you know. No, sorry. What verse is that, sorry? There's a they represent the kingdom. The kingdoms, okay? I saw the vision by night and behold the four winds of the heaven strove upon the great sea. Sorry, the great sea is actually um the, 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 the great sea is actually the people, you know. You can get that in the book of um Revelation 17, you know. The great sea is the people, and the four winds are the powers to be, okay, that were going to rule. Okay. Go on. Verse 3. And four great beasts came up. From the sea, diverse one from another. Verse 4. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. 
I be heard to the wings. The Arab, we are plunk, we are plunk. And that's, that's talking about the Assyrians and the Babylonians, you know. Okay, they are, that's talking about the Assyrians and the Babylonians. That, that those, those were the first people that had the great power, which, you know, the king Nebuchadnezzar, Belshazzar, you know, he came from, you know. And it was lifted, it was lifted up from the earth and made stand up and made stand upon the feet as a man and a man's heart was given to it. And now, you know, that image that he's saying, he said it was a lion with wings, you know, with the head of a man. That's called the Lama Su, you know. If you put down the word Lama Su on Wikipedia, you're going to see it's going to break it down. And that's actually talking about um, the artifact that was found in Babylon. You know, I believe it lies now in, um, in um, Lovraine in France, in the museum in France, you know. Keep reading. Verse 5. And behold, another beast, a Satan, like to a bear, and it rise up itself on one side, and it had three ribs in the mouth of it, between the teeth of it, and they said, Thus unto it, arise, before much flesh. And that's speaking about the Medes and the Persians, you know. Those are the people that got power, that got into power after, after, after the Assyrians and the Babylonians. And you see, this vision is very important. Same to you. This vision, this vision is very, very important because you know this tells you what time we are actually living right now. You know, it tells you what period we are actually living. It tells you that this is the time that we should be seeking the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushua with all our heart. Because this is the actual last kingdom that's, that's ruling before the, the return of our Mashiach, our Shai. Verse 6. After this I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of a fowl, and the beast had also four hairs, and dominion was given to it. And this, is speaking, this is speaking of Alexander the Great, you know. And when Alexander got into power, that's when the wicked got into power. You can, you can read this from the book of um, First Maccabees, the first chapter, you know. And the, and the four words, uh, it says the four, um, he has four wings. The four wings represents his, um, his four generals, which was uh, Solutius, Ptolemy, Lusimash, uh, Lusimash, uh, Lusimicho, um, um, and, and to, I said Ptolemy already. It was Solutius, um, Lusimicho, um, Ptolemy, and... Um, Cassandra, thank you. Okay, these are his four generals that actually divided um, the four kingdoms. You know, keep reading. Verse 7. After this, I saw in the night vision, and behold, a fourth beast, dreadful and tremble and terrible and strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth. And this is speaking about the Roman Empire. You know, I, say, I said that, you know, when the Greeks got into power, you know, wickedness was multiplied up, upon the earth, you know, because these were the same people that went down and became the Romans, you know. After the death of um, Alexander, you know, they separated and they had dominion over everything at that time, you know. For, from thence came the, the Roman Empire, you understand. It devoured and break in pieces and stamp the residue with the feet of it. And, you know, there was something unique about the Romans, you know. They had a very powerful uh, military structure, you know. There were people that they, they, they were working in iron, and that takes you back to, to Balkan, you know, the first artificer of iron, you know, which was the son of Cain, you know. These are the first people to start making um, weapons. So that same spirit is on, the, uh, is, on the, is on these Romans, you know. These were, the, these were the lineage of the wicked, you know. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, and it had ten hands. Verse 8, I consider the hands, and behold, there came up an, among them. Okay, uh, now the Roman Empire, the Roman Empire separated from the Roman Empire, you have um, different European empires coming out of it, you know. Then it says it has a special one on that was diverse from the rest of the horns, which is America, and America came out of, of the Britons, you know. So that's speaking of the American, the USA, okay, that's Babylon the Great, if you, if you can receive that through the spirits, okay, keep reading. Okay, let me, let me read it again, verse 8, 
I consider the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn, before whom there were three of the first horn plucked up by the roots. And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man, and a mouth speaking a great things. Verse 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his ways as the burning fire. So as you can see right there, that's telling you about the, the last kingdom to rule. You know, that's the United States, you know. And it gives you the description of the ancient of days, you know. It looks nothing like a white cracker. He has air of wool, and the color of his skin is brown. Okay, let's keep reading. Verse 10. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousand, thousand ministered unto him. And 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. That's why it's called the Lord of hosts. You know, the Most High has, he has a military that you can't even count. You can't imagine, you know. He is the power. He created everything, you know. He has a military force that you can't imagine. So these devils that are in power, that are actually believing that they can create all different kinds of military power to fight against the Most High, they must be mad, man. They're dreaming. They're dreaming a white dream that can never over, that can never come to life, you know. The judgment was set, and the books were opened. Verse eleven. I beheld then, because of the voice of the great walls, could the hand, could the hand speak? I beheld, even till the beast was slain, and his body destroyed. So now it's speaking about the end, you know. The books were laid open and judgments were cast. This is the season of judgment, man. This is the season of judgment. You know, we just woke up to a news this morning. We don't know how true it is. It seems like that man that was, that the scornful man that was twisting the doctrine all around, you know, um, disregarding the, the son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, wrapped the news or what's it, what's it called, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. We heard he's dead, you know? We heard he's gone. This is the season of judgment. The Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai will start bringing out judgment upon this earth. Although the Most High brings judgment every morning, but the major judgment in these last times, plagues, famine, pestilence, you know, destruction, all these are coming, man. This is the time you want to set things straight with, with, between you and the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Because this is not the time to play around, man. Judgment is coming. And this is the end of that war. You know, um, Babylon, the great, the so-called America, you know, our hand was, uh, was, was destruction. So those people, you know, believing in a, in, a, in, a false, in a false democracy and all that BS that she brings out, you know, they will all be put to shame. All the people that are actually, you know, holding strong to certain things in this, in this, um, in this, um, those people that are holding strong to certain things in, um, in this kingdom, you know, that is run by these devils, you know, they will all be put to shame. What shall it cost, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and then lose his soul, you know? Keep reading. His body destroyed and, and given to the burning flames. Verse 12. As concerning the rest of the beasts, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives, their lives were prolonged for a season and time. Verse 13, I saw in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the class of heaven and came to the ancient of days, and they brought him near before him. Khan, and this is the Son of Man, this is Yahweh Shai, you know, he said he came with the clouds. You know, we know according to the scripture that the clouds are actually the, the chariots of, of the angels, you know. These are the, the, the uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the UFOs, the so-called UFOs, you know, these are the chariots. Keep reading. Verse 14. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and language should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. He ah. shall not pass. The dominion that is coming, in which this is the dominion you should be looking up to, is a dominion that would last forever. You know, this is a dominion in which no one would ever come and take away. But this kingdom that is right here. <laughs> These people in power, 
they're going into hardcore slavery, man. This dominion will be taken away from them. And guess how it is? You know, those who, who, who were actually, those who were actually under, they were, that's, they were subjected to slavery and all that thing. They'll become the kings, yeah, the you know? The first shall be the, the last. The first shall be the last and the last the first, you know? This is judgment, man. This is balance. The most high is unjust. Um, the most high is not unjust like man, okay? The most high is a just balance, you know? An eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. As they have done to us, we shall also do to them. We don't. Dominion is an everlasting dominion who shall not pass away, and his kingdom that who shall not be destroyed. Verse 15, I, Daniel, was graved in my spirit, in the midst of my body, and the vision of my head troubled me. Verse 16, I came, near unto, I came near unto one of them, and stood by, and asked him the truth of all this. So he told me, and made me know the interpretation of these things. So you see, Daniel had this vision, and he got troubled, man. We had many, many prophets who had visions of what the end looks like, you know, the end looks nothing beautiful, man. It's a day of loom, it's a day of darkness, a day of total destruction, you know. Many, many prophets saw this, these visions and they fell sick, you know. And lately the Most High has been, you know, pouring his spirit upon, upon the young men, the young women, you know, people are having all different kinds of visions, you know. These words are true. Even if they, even, even, even if it looks like they are not coming to pass, Man, just hold strong. They will not tarry too long. Habakkuk 2, 3. These words are true and they are coming to pass. Verse 17. Those great beasts, which are four, are four kings, who shall arise out of the earth. Okay, so here yeah, it's been given the, the explanation, you know. Those, those four great beasts that we spoke about, they are actually the four kings who, who shall rule over the earth, you see. So he said the first one, those were the, the Babylonians and the Assyrians. Um, the Babylonians and the Assyrians. The second one, the Medes and the, and the Persians. The third one, the Greeks, you know. Now the fourth one, the Romans, you know. Then he says out of that Romans comes a small on, you know. That on is speaking about Babylon the Great, which is ruling the earth right now, you know. It's the last leg. That's the last leg, you know, the last final the last final, you know, kingdom to rule. Keep reading. Verse 18. But the sons of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever. Who, and are, ever. The saint, who are the saints of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai? The saints of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, are the sons of Israel. You know? They are going to take the kingdom forever and ever. You know? And that kingdom shall not be taken away from us. Yeah, go on. This is regarding to the scent of the Most High. This is Psalm 50, verse 5. It says, Get all my sense together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Gather my saints together unto me. Get the book of um, Acts 1 6. You know, those who have made a, um, a covenant by sacrifice. Who are the people that made a covenant by sacrifice? These were the sons of Israel. What does it say? Can. So you see, the kingdom, the kingdom is going to be given back to the saints. And you, you see, when the when Yahweh Shai returned, his um his apostles they actually believed they believed that you know he came actually to give them the kingdom back at that time, you know. But the kingdom was it wasn't time yet, you know. Things still needed to happen. So they were even asking Yahweh Shai. And this is to let you know that the saints are actually the Israelites. This is the book of Acts 1 6. It says, When therefore we are come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will I at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So the kingdom will be restored to Israel. Okay. Israel means Yashar Allah, he, um, he, the prince of the power. Okay. So the kingdom will be restored to Israel. These are the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and the Latinos. You know, those who are actually on the on the lowest side of 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 the societies. You know, the so-called um, scumbags or whatever that you call them. You know, we get into we get into offices. You know, 
we try to apply for certain services in which an Edomite is going to go apply for the same services, the Edomite gets everything without stress. But once they see that you're a Negro, a Native American or a Latino, they make everything four times harder for you, you know? This is the kingdom of the wicked, man. And we, we, we can't wait, man, because, you know, we are expecting a new earth and a new heaven, man. This place is not our home. Things are not just here. And if, you're not, if you don't have the eyes to see these things, it means that the Most High has actually prepared you for destruction, man. Speak up. Yeah. Verse 19. Then I will know the truth of the fourth beast, which was diverse from all the others, a seed in dreadful, whose teeth were of iron and his nails of brass, could devour, break in pieces, and stamp the residual with his feet. And this is speaking of America, Babylon the Great. Let's go to the book of um, Revelation 13. Excuse me. Revelation 13, you read from verse 5. This Revelation 13, verse 5 says, And there was given unto him a man speaking great things, and a blasphemy, and power was given unto him to, con to continue forty and two months. And that 40 and 2 months, if you calculate it, it's, it's uh, approximately 350 years, you know. Power was given unto him to say all these great things. These people blaspheme against the Most High. They've taken the right laws and they've turned everything around, you know. They have legalized every abomination you can find on the earth. If there is a commandment given by the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, these men have created other five to go against that just one commandment, you know. They've turned everything all around. They, 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 they tell you that, the, the, the Most High tells you that the Most High has created things, both male and female, you know. But now we have all different kinds of sexes, you know. It's no longer male and female. You can't even call someone an E or a she anymore, you know. All different kinds of madness and abominations. This is the wine of that great demonic war. They speak blasphemies against the Most High. You know, blasphemy is how they ex out um, our, our, our Savior, Yahweh Shai. You know, our, our Savior, he has his description in the book of um, Revelation 1, you read from 13 to 15. A so called Negro man with, 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 you know, woolly hair just like we have. You know, they changed it, they gave him, they turned him to a leprous man. You know, they've done all sorts of wickedness. They act all these movies and they put these prophets as crackers, man. They have done all sorts of wickedness right from the time of iconoclasm, you know. When they got into power back, the time of Renaissance, they started changing the images of, of the true of the true saints. You find it, you find you find that in the book of um, First Maccabees, you know. They started painting their own likeness into these books, you know. Spoken all different words of blasphemy, you know. By changing the name, they took out the real name and they give you a, a Renaissance name. And that's the name you people are going after, you know, calling on demonic deities that you don't even know the roots. This man is slick, is wicked. There is nothing good that can, that, that can come from this man that is in power right now. That's why you really need to forsake his ways and seek the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's the way to go. Because these days are not the days that you should be slacking, man. Because, see, judgments are coming out and we're going to see more of that judgment. According to these people, we are into the new year. But we know through the spirit, through the scriptures, that this is not the new year. We still have two more months to go. But this new so-called new year, Esau has a lot of new and beautiful packages for you, man, that you're following him, you know? But we, that we don't follow Esau, we are not expecting anything from him. We're expecting a new kingdom. We're expecting a new earth and a new heaven where there is, where there is justice, where there is no, 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 no wicked ruling, you know? That's what we expect. And for all you that you're expecting a, 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 a what what do we, what's a new normal, man, Esau has a beautiful package of a new normal for you, you know. He has a package of a new normal for you. People are going to die, people are going to starve to death, lots of destructions, lot of enchantments and witchcraft, you know, turning of things all around. This is what Esau knows what to do best, man. Verse twenty. And of ten horns that were in his head, and of the other which came up and before, whom three fell, even of that horn, 
that had eyes and a mouth that speak very great things. And that tree on that you say they fell, that tree on is speaking of um, Spain, France, and the UK because America had a war with these people, you know. Those are the three kings that fell. They were kings before, before America came. You know, America had a war with them and became the power that be, you know. Keep reading. Okay. Speak very great things whose look was more stout than his fellows. His look was more stout than his fellows, you know. His look was more stout than his fellows. These people are going to look down on Jake anytime, you know. You put a fucking cracker with a Jake, you know, together. The fucking cracker already automatically in his mind, he believes he's better than a Jake. Even if he knows nothing, you know. Now they created all different kinds of BS, you know, brainwashing, you know, bringing out all different kinds of, turning the truth all around and calling, you know, they said the Aryan race, that they are the Aryan race, the, the most intelligent race of beings. And these people are not intelligent, man. They are foolish. They are sottish children, man. Base men, their origin is from the caves, man. These people don't even have a language before. They communicated by making sounds and, you know, signs. Keep reading. Verse 21. I beheld and the same horn made war with the saints and prevail against them. Can. These, these, these people have made war with the saints. As we said, the saints are the Israelites, you know. The saints are the sons of Israel. They've been making war against us from time to time, you know, the major war that they succeeded was the, was the Battle of Mansada, 70 AD, you know, they went down, they destroyed our house, you know, made us all run, scattered to the four parts of the earth, then they started taking us slavery, and that war continues in a different way, you know, these philosophies that they feed you is a war against, against you, because they don't want you to return to that connection of your power. Because once we get back to the connection of our power, we all start calling upon our Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai as a nation. You know, it's game over for these people. That's why they excluded his name from the Bible. You know, gave you a Renaissance name. That how, that's why, you know, the, the so-called blacks were prohibited from reading the Bible, you know, in the, in, the 70, in, the, in, the, in the slave times, you know. That's why, you know, they, would, they, would, they, they had a slave Bible, you know. They are still actually making wars against you. Your water is filled with things that's going to calcify your pineal gland, you know, that's going to destroy that connection between you and the Most High. Your food is all filled with poisons, you know, to destroy you. These people are making wars against you, you know. You go to their schools, you think you're learning something good for yourself, but you're actually learning to become a slave for the system, you know. The war continues, but this is what people don't understand. No, it's this, more, more of mental. Yeah, it's a spiritual and mental thing, man. These people, they make deep searches that you can't even imagine, man. Their heart is deep, man. Their heart is deep. Now they call you all, you know, all of a sudden they just start loving you. They care for you so much, they want to save your life, you know. They prepare some concussion and tell you to take it, you know. I and the brother this morning, we were watching some video here in Italy, you know, that this, this, this thing is going viral now. You know, you have all these nurses, you know, and doctors, you know, taking, you know, the test, you know, the, the Vanessa test, you know. So they make counts of it. Then you see people who have been juiced the first time, people who have been juiced the second time, people who have been juiced the third time, you know, they make the counts. Then you see people who have, uh, who have not even been juiced, you know. Out of a whole bunch of number, there were only like three or four of those who have not been juiced. Then the highest count were people who have been juiced two times and three times, you know? So you see, these people, they're actually fighting against you. And once you go take that juice, what does it do? It takes the spirit you have away, you know? It goes and it destroys your V-mat, you know? Your v, v, your, your v mat, which is your pineal gland that gives you that connection to your creator. This is what Esau does, you know? The war is being waged on you 24-7. It, it segregates you and it puts you in the ghettos, you know. We are all locked up in ghettos, you know, stacked up in, on these buildings that are 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, I don't know how many floors, you know. Your neighbor is going to be doing some things and you'll be hearing your neighbor, you know. All this psychological warfare, you know. Our water is calcified, you know. 
the toothpaste that you use, everything is filled with fluoride to destroy your pineal gland. This war is being waged continuously, you know, and this war is never going to stop until his plan is to get us all exterminated, you know. That is what the plan is, you know. The plan is to destroy the name of Israel out of the, the face of the earth, you know. Now we see they're actually, you know, investing a lot of money on creating, you know, this so-called technology to, to block in the sun and the moon. Uh, can you get the book of, um, okay. okay Go on, bring out the precepts. This is Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spirituality, wickedness in high places. We already brought out these um, precepts at the beginning, but this precept is useful now, you know? Because this um, wakitaki um, Hebrew Israelites, or these so-called black powers, they believe that you know they can tackle this thing by themselves by making protests you know by picking up arms and all that things you know this man is best is blessed with those weapons man he's going to destroy your ass man you know you can't fight against the powers that be you know you can't fight against it you need a spiritual power you need a hopper power that comes directly from the most high yahweh shem yahushai get um, baba kasha the book of um jeremiah um 31 where he says um if the if the sun is darkened or whatever you know so this man actually is, is doing all different kinds of enchantments you know believing he can he's trying to destroy the sun can you imagine and he's doing that because you know he believes that once he can do that destroy the sun and the moon then the most High will, will cease from from calling from choosing um, israel you know which can never happen okay let me start from 35. you start from 35 yeah this is Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 35. It says, Thus says the Lord, Yahweh Bashin Yahushai, could give her the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of moon and the stars for a light by night, could, di could divide the sea when the waves thereof roar. The Lord of hosts is his name, which is Yahweh Bashin Yahushai. Verse 36. If those ordinances depart, from before me, says the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. So in other words, the Most High has created, you know, the sun, the moon, and the ordinances of the earth, and he has given them a particular course, you know, if those things stop from being, then the Most High will cease from being the power of Israel. And this is what this man actually believes he can do. They actually take of your, of your tax money, the money, the money that they're meant to use to help people and make lives better, they use them against you. The war goes on. The war goes on. Do we want to speak about um, eugenics? You know? Do we want to speak of um, abortion clinics in the ghettos? You know? In the ghettos, you have more abortion clinics than you can find in any other places in the world. You know? Babies are being harvested, you know? And these babies, they are, they are also being given to you to eat, you know? This is how wicked this kingdom is and this is why you should pray for 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 a new heaven and a new earth this place is defiled man this place is defiled you know for when you spill blood on land you know that land get cost say one you want to say something yeah i wanted to say you know the, uh, uh, about, Speak out. about what we are saying the 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 the, the aborted tissue you know as we heard a part of the so-called vaccine they are giving don't say vaccine. So-called juice. So <laughs> juice. Yeah, the juice, man. Yeah, yeah. they found um, my butted fetal tissues in there, you know, and that has been for ages. All the all the Vanessa juices that they've been given, you know, you always find those things inside, you know. Yeah, you know, this is why we are pulling down. This is why the reason why we read this, the scripture, of course. The scripture says we're pulling down the imagination, you know, and all the evil thoughts of the wicked one, you know, by exposing them, bringing the real truth, you know. Yahweh said that uh, uh, the, the, uh, everything that is hidden shall become a light, you know. And so now if the truth is coming, the real truth, the raw truth, and nothing but the truth, you know, not like what we used to know. So let's go back to Daniel. Okay. This is Daniel 7 verse 23. What is chapter 3, right? Yes. Okay, 22, 22. 22. Yes. This is Daniel 7 22. 
until the ancient of days came, and judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. And the time, and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. So we are actually waiting for that time approaching. And that time is fast approaching, in which the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai, through his son Yahushai, is going to give us back this kingdom. This kingdom has been sabotaged by the wicked. And this wicked needs to be eliminated out of the way. You know, if this wicked is not eliminated out of the way, we can't find peace, we can't find joy. We are all going to be destroyed. You know, that's why, you know, Yahweh was teaching his people to pray. He said, pray for the kingdom to come. Pray for the kingdom to come. Pray for the will of the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to be done on earth as it is in heaven. This is the prayer we should be praying for. Not a fucking new norm or going back to normal. Man, these people that are still, you know, carried away with this madness, you know, Esau has a new normal for you. Don't worry. Just hold on. <laughs> okay, go on. Verse 23, Daniel 7 23. Thus, thus he said, The fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon the earth which shall be diverse from all kingdoms and shall devour the whole earth and shall tread it down and break it to pieces. Can this is the fourth beast. You know, it's said that the fourth beast is going to be diverse and different from the rest of the kingdom. You know, it's going to tread the earth down. Just like we said, this man has tread everything down. He has destroyed everything. The major ordinances of things are being changed. Everything is destroyed. Now we, we don't have natural fruits anymore. We have genetically modified fruits, you know. Now Esau is breeding different animals. He's taking um, tissues from a dog and adding it to a lion and doing all these kind of things, you know. Diverse. Because how does it come? It comes in that, in, that, in that way, you know, he speaks. Now go, go to the book of um, Revelation 13, you know, where it says, you know, he speaks. He speaks, um, he speaks like, um, um, come as a lamb and speaks, he speaks with the voice of, I think, no, no. No, you can read from, you can read from seven downwards, just read from seven downwards, you know? It comes in a different way, man. If you don't follow his way, man, it destroys you, man. This is the wicked. Let's keep reading. Let's start from six. Okay, this is Revelation 13, verse six. He says, and he opened his mouth in blasphemy against Yahweh to blaspheme his name and his tabernacles. And that's what we just we just spoke about, you know. This man he blasphemes the name of the Most High. He exes out the image of the, of the Son of the Most High and his saints, and he replaces it with his own image. He turns around the story. Keep reading. His tabernacles and them that dwell in heaven, verse 7, and it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them, and power was given him over all kindreds and, the to kindreds and tongues and nations. Okay, so he overcame the saints, man. You know, but Kalalaya Bashem Yahushai Bashem Rukakodash, we are overcoming him by these words of this truth. You know, but majority of the saints have been overcome. They are still under the spells of these devils. You know, keep reading. Verse 8. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb, slain from the foundation of the world. So all those people that their names are not written in the book of life, of the Lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, you know, they are all going to pay homage to these devils and worship this, go after these devils, you know? These are the same people that are queuing up to take the, the juice, and they would also queue up to take the MOTB when it comes out, which is going to be the new special thing to come this, this, um, this, um, this, this new year, that's, this so-called new year that's not new year, you know? So those people that are actually following the ways of this kingdom, you know, expecting some kind of special things to come out from this kingdom, they are all going to be disappointed at the, at the right time, you know? These are the people that their names are not written in the book of life. Go on. Verse 9. 
If any man have an ear, let him hear. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Because many have ears, but they can't hear. Many have eyes, but they can't see. You know, that's the book of Isaiah 29, 10. The most high has closed their eyes, he has deafened them. They believe they understand, you know, they, they dress well, they put on ties and suits, you know, looking like whatever. They, they introduce them, oh, a professor, this. Professor that doesn't know any damn thing, man. Indoctrinated professors, you know, they don't know no damn thing. If you're not speaking out of this book, then you don't have the truth, man. This is where the real truth stays, you know. The secrets and everything of this earth is in this book, you know. Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. This man has led us into captivity many years, you know. We've suffered, we've suffered a lot of things under the hands of this man. And we are still under captivity. These countries that they, they are so-called uh, independent countries in Africa, the, 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 the island, you know, they all believe that they are independent. But they are actual pro private properties, you know. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Can. He that leadeth into captivity must go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword shall die by the sword. This man murders you in all ways, you know. He has all different kinds of swords ready for you, you know. Now the new sword is that, you know, that pin that they poke into your, into, into your shoulder, you know. The baby sword. You know, the baby sword. This man has all different kinds of death, death machines, you know. And he's going, to, he's, going, he's going to be killed with the same thing that he has been doing, you know. Keep reading. Verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. This is what I'm saying, you know? You keep reading, no, no, let's keep reading a little bit from there, okay. then we'll go back. No, this is what I'm saying, you know? He came, what did, what did you read now? Verse 11, he said, And I beheld another beast came up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon two horns like the lamb and he spake as a dragon that word dragon goes back to the draco you know harsh hard laws man the two horns represents the the Repub uh, republican and the democrats which goes back to the ancient roman system the plebeians and the patricians you know but he came out he rebranded everything you know looking like a very calm person you know coming like a lamb then he speaks like a dragon, his laws are heavy, his laws are burdening us, you know. Now, here in Italy, from the 5th of this month, you know, all our bills, our light and gas bills are all going to go up, you know, radic radically. And when you hear them speaking on the TV, you know, they speak calmly. We have brought out 20 million to fight against, you know, her hard taxes and everything. So you hear all these things, it seems like it's helping you. But at the end of the day, man, it's killing you the more. Yeah, these, these are actually the people who are, who, who are portraying themselves to, to save. You know, how can you be, how can you try to save people while you are trying to increase their taxes? I mean, it doesn't make sense. You want to give me something that will keep me alive, but at the same time, you want to make <laughs> my taxes you increase. You want to give me about tension. It doesn't make any sense, <laughs> you know? So, but the people appreciate. are blind, man. Go on. Yeah, this is Psalm 55 verse 21. He said, The word of his mouth were smoother than butter, but what was in his heart, his words were softer than iron, yet we are dead drawn sword. Can. He says his tongue, his words were smooth like butter, you know, his words were smoother like oil, you know, but yet were they drawn swords. That's how these people come. They come in that packaging, you know. Oh, we're Democrats, we're Republicans, you know, democracy to the world, oh, democracy to everybody, oh, no, the women, we need their rights and all that BS and all that bullshit. But all they do is to destroy your morale, destroy your culture. These people, they sabotage people, they sabotage cultures, they sabotage morals, you know. Once they come into your country, they step foot into your country, they destroy every damn thing that they find, you know. These are harbingers of death, man. If yeah, that's why the scripture called them the border of wickedness. Border of wickedness, can. Uh, uh, Ma uh, Malachi, Malachi, Malachi yeah. 1 4. Yeah. Let's continue. Revelation. Yeah, let's continue. Revelation 13 12. 
and he, he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them put where they are in to worship the first beast. So hold on, he exercises the, the power of the first beast. What's the first beast? The Roman Empire. So what people don't really understand is we are still under the Roman rule, you know? The beast is the system. He exercises the power of the dragon, you know? That is that Roman Empire. That's why, you know, you have to do the Christmas, you worship um, Saturnalia, that's why you did, just did the New Year, they worship Janus, you know? That's why they're going to do also Easter, they worship Astaroth, you know? Because these people are pagans, they are devil worshippers, the Romans, you know? This is the system we're actually living, but they come with a new rebranding, you know, and they give it to you like democracy, you know? And he says, well, in that same verse, He says, um, verse 12, let me read you again. Read it, read it. Verse 12, and, and he exercised all the power of the first beast before him and caused the earth and them who dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. So he's causing the whole earth to worship that first beast, you know, whose deadly wound was healed because they, they got injured at a certain, certain time, which was called the Dark Ages. Jakes got into power, so their kingdom was injured. And the time of Renaissance, their wound was healed. They came back to power again. So you see, the point there is, it caused the earth to worship that first beast. So you see, that's why you have your calendars, everything, you know, named after Roman deities, pagan names. You have the days of the week, you know, named after different gods and deities, you know, Sunday, is named after the, 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 gun of the god of the sun, the Solis Invictus, you know. Thursday is named after Thor, you know. Benedict Friday is named after um, a freak tag, you know, which is uh, uh, an, uh, an ancient deity, which goes back to Venice, Venus, you know. So it's making everybody in, un, unconsciously worship that same beast. The food we're eating is all defiled and that we know already in the book of Ezekiel chapter 4 it tells you already that the food that we're going to eat amongst these devils is going to be defiled man and the other day I was watching a video you know one of these um Hebrews um, one of these um crackers Amalekites you know it was telling it was telling you how they, 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 they take you know all these aborted babies and all that thing you know they grind the meat and they use them back into your drinks Put them into your McDonald's um, burgers and all that thing, you know. And this is a this is a form of witchcraft, you know. You eat your own babies, you know. This is how wicked these people are, actually. Keep reading. Verse thirteen, and he, and he does great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And this is speaking about, you know, those great wonders he has done through his his his, his bombs. He make fire come from heaven on earth. Speaking of Hiroshima, Nagasaki, speaking of when they went into Bosnia, you know? So on and so on. And so on and so forth. When he did all this, you know, all this bombing and all these things, oh, he made, everyone got scared, man. Oh, this man is down, man. He's the strongest in the world, you know? And that's what even making, that's what is convincing people to you today. They believe that America would never fall because of its military power. You know? They believe America would never fall 